Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Shannon Beter explodes on Heather Dubro and Tamara Judge on RHOC after they accuse her of lying. You were sadly mistaken if you thought the real housewives of Orange County ladies would scale back the drama as they embarked on their trip to London. There's never a dull moment with this bunch, but something tells us that the cast tensions won't subside before the end of the season and the dreaded reunion. It all started when Shannon purchased expensive Burberry scarves for the cast as they touched down in London, and there were some shady responses from Heather Dubro and Tamara Judge. Take mine back, put it toward the John Jansen facelift fund, Heather said with a laugh and a confessional. Why is Shannon dishing out scarves like they're candy when she's in a $75,000 lawsuit and says she doesn't have the money to pay it? Tamara complained. From that point on, Heather started to wonder whether Shannon hadn't told her the whole story about all of the John Jansen drama because the 60-year-old appeared on the Jeff Lewis show a day before the trip and gave a different story. Heather has questions about Shannon's story. Heather's biggest problem was that Shannon told her that John heard the accident and he didn't come to help her. I don't understand why she's telling me one thing and then going on Jeff Lewis and saying something vastly different, Heather complained. The trust issues are there because which side is the truth? I want to believe her. But now I don't get it, she affirmed before taking her concerns to Tamara. She's lying, she knew. Don't sit on a radio show and go, oh wow, I never thought of that. She told me that. She's told you that. Tamara fired back. That's what's f asterisk 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 asterisked up about it. Am I being used? Heather wondered. Tamara, who has been bashing Shannon all season long, then claimed in a confessional that Shannon has manipulated Heather to feel sorry for and to play the victim. She's f asterisk 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 liar, Tamara told Heather. Later that evening, as the ladies assembled for their first dinner of the trip, Tamara wasted no time calling Shannon out after saying she didn't want to talk about the legal drama. You were just on the Jeff Lewis show and talked about it for an hour, Tamara complained. As tensions mounted, Shannon fired back, saying she could speak about it because there was no promissory note. Then, a day or two later, he sends me the promissory note, she added, which got Heather's attention because this was the first time Shannon mentioned it, despite their heart-to-heart -heart in Sonoma. Did Shannon implicate herself in a lie? Tamara went to town on Shannon in a confessional, claiming she told her that she borrowed the money. When Shannon tried to stop talking, Tamara dug her heels in and said she was oak with talking about it on a radio show for an hour. Shannon was stunned when Tamara said something on the podcast was a lie. I'm not sure I call it a lie, but this is disturbing to me, as you came to my room in Sonoma and showed me a very disturbing picture of you. Heather chimed in before calling out Shannon, saying she felt used by her supposed friend. In a confessional, Heather stated her belief that Shannon told her about the night of the accident on purpose, so that it would be on camera that way. Is this propaganda? Heather concluded in her conversation with producers. Tamara said that Shannon was trying to be a victim as the drama heated up. In the end, Shannon stormed away from the table as the rest of the cast discussed the incident. Shannon heard them and shouted through bars that separated the table and the elevator to her co-stars. Keep asterisk 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 talking about me, you guys, and you know what? Tamara Judge, don't you ever call me a victim again. I told you that I am working on myself. Victims sit back and feel sorry for themselves. I am moving forward with my life. She screeched through the beams as Tamara laughed at her. I'm just laughing because I'm looking at you through bars, Tamara confessed. After some more expletives, Shannon left, and Tamara conceded that she got caught in a lie and can't handle it. The latest drama on Asterisk, The Real Housewives of Orange County Asterisk has reached an all-time high, as Shannon Beter's explosive confrontation with Heather Dubro and Tamara Judge left viewers gasping for breath. The tension, which had been simmering beneath the surface for weeks, finally boiled over when Heather and Tamara accused Shannon of being dishonest, igniting a firestorm of emotions. Shannon Beter has always been one of the most emotionally raw and unfiltered housewives on the show, wearing her heart on her sleeve and sometimes letting her emotions get the best of her. Her relationships with her fellow castmates have had their fair share of ups and downs, but this particular confrontation seemed to cut deeper than anything we've seen before. 
when Heather and Tamara called out Shannon for allegedly lying about a situation that involved not only the cast but some deeply personal matters, it was like a match was struck to a pile of dry tinder. The setting for the explosion couldn't have been more fitting for reality TV drama. The ladies had gathered for what was supposed to be a light-hearted event, one of those glamorous dinner parties that have become synonymous with asterisk R-H-O-C asterisk. Champagne glasses clinked, designer outfits shimmered under the soft lighting, and for a moment, it seemed like everything might go smoothly. But beneath the surface, things were far from peaceful. Heather and Tamara had been harboring suspicions about Shannon's honesty for weeks, and the tension had been building behind the scenes. As the evening unfolded, Heather and Tamara exchanged knowing glances, clearly gearing up for what was about to come. Shannon, for her part, was visibly on edge, sensing that something was amiss but not entirely sure what. The air was thick with anticipation, as if everyone knew that this night would not end without a significant confrontation. Finally, the moment came. Tamara, always direct and unafraid to stir the pot, brought up the issue. She accused Shannon of being deceitful about certain aspects of her personal life, allegations that struck a nerve with Shannon. Heather, who is known for her calculated approach to conflict, chimed in with her own concerns, framing her accusations in a calm, almost cold manner. She questioned Shannon's credibility, making it clear that she felt Shannon was twisting the truth to serve her own narrative. For Shannon, who had already been feeling isolated from the group, this was too much to bear. The look on her face shifted from confusion to disbelief and finally to a kind of righteous fury. Her eyes blazed with emotion as she stood up, no longer able to contain the storm that had been brewing inside her. This wasn't just about being accused of lying, this was about betrayal from two women she had once considered close friends. With her voice trembling but full of fire, Shannon launched into a passionate defense of herself. She called out Heather and Tamara for blindsiding her, for not coming to her privately with their concerns, and for making her feel like an outsider in a group she had been a part of for so long. Her voice grew louder with each word, echoing through the elegant room that now felt more like a battlefield. You don't get to call me a liar, Shannon shouted, her voice cracking with emotion. I have been nothing but honest with you, with both of you. I have opened up my life, my heart, and this is how you repay me. Heather, always poised, tried to interject, attempting to calm the situation down, but Shannon was not having it. No, Heather, don't you dare try to make this about something else. This is about you and Tamara turning on me when I needed you the most. Tamara, who was never one to back down from a fight, shot back with her own fiery retort. Shannon, we're not turning on you. We're trying to hold you accountable. You've been hiding things, twisting things, and we're done pretending like everything's fine. Shannon, now fully in the throes of her emotions, fired back, her words dripping with hurt and anger. You're not holding me accountable, Tamara. You're tearing me down. I have been going through so much, and instead of supporting me, you're attacking me. The accusations flew back and forth like daggers, each one sharper than the last. Heather, ever the diplomat, tried to maintain some semblance of control, but it was clear that the situation had spiraled beyond anyone's ability to rein it in. Shannon was no longer just defending herself against the accusations of lying. She was unleashing a torrent of pent-up frustration, anger, and pain that had been festering for months.